when you run a business, there are tasks that become very repetitive, and this can cost you a lot of time. Thankfully, we have Sure Triggers, because what Sure Triggers does is it automates all those repetitive tasks, making you even more productive. So in this example, I want to make sure that when I post a video on YouTube, all my subscribers get an email alert that there's a video out. So let's see how we can do this. So when you create a workflow, there's two ways you can do this. You can either use AI or you can build from scratch. So for this example, I'm going to build from scratch. And then in the next example, I'll be using AI. All right, so my workflow name, I'm just gonna call this uh, YouTube. Let's say YouTube to emails. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on create. Next, we want now to add our trigger integration that we have here with sure triggers. So I am going to search for YouTube and there we go, we have YouTube here. So now the next step is to select an event. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna say, runs when a new video is added in channel. This is exactly what I want, so I'm gonna select that. Next, I'm now going to choose my YouTube channel. So I'm gonna click here on create new connection. I'm now going to go to this channel, Mac YouTube. I'm gonna click on continue. All right, so now, Short Triggers is connecting to YouTube and it looks like everything is okay now. I'm gonna click on continue, select my channel, and here it is. I'm gonna click again on continue. So now it's asking me to fetch the data. So let's see if this works. And sure enough, it looks like this is working. So I'm gonna go ahead now and save. Everything has been set for my YouTube. The next step now is to add my next action. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button. And now I'm going to look for Fluent CRM. So here it is. I'm going to select it. Right. So I haven't connected my uh, website yet. So I guess it would be a good idea to head over to my site, which is over here, and connect. So my site here needs a plugin, and the plugin is called Sure Triggers. So let's go ahead and do that. So Sure Triggers is right here. I'm going to click on Install and then Activate. So the next step now is it's going to ask me to get started. So I'm going to click here. So what we need now is to connect short triggers with uh, my account, which is what I'm working on right now. And in a moment, this should be connected and sure enough. So this dashboard that we have here is similar to the dashboard I have here on app.shorttriggers.com. All right, so let's go now and add an event. So the event I need here I'm just going to scroll down and go to send email. Okay, I want to select the connection. So it looks like I just need to refresh my website. All right, so I've got my website here. I'm going to click on continue. So there's a few things that I need here. I need the API username and I also need to enter the URL of my site. Okay, so what I have now is the URL of my site. I'm just going to copy that like that. Come back over here and enter it like that. Okay, so I need to enter my uh, API username and API password, and I also need a campaign. So we might as well create our campaign quickly. So I'm gonna come over here to Fluent CRM, and then I'm gonna go to campaigns, and then I'm just gonna create a new campaign. So let's call this video posted, create campaign. Okay, so I'm just gonna say, hello, a new video has been posted. I mean, I can go further and um, describe what the video the video is about. So what I need to do here is to just enter my YouTube channel and just paste it in here. Okay, so let's say this is our campaign. I'm gonna click on continue like that. So I'm gonna leave this pre-header, hit continue. Okay, so over here I can choose my tags. So let's say this is going to all subscribers. I can just do that, click on continue. So this is going to be my basic email. All right, so now let's talk about the API. So if you're not sure how to set up the API key, this is where you would come to, and then you just click on documentation, and this will explain everything that you need to do. So as you can see here, uh, it's telling us that you need to add a new manager. All right, so we're going to continue on and create our key here. So what we need to do is to enter our API username and password. So first of all, here we need to add a new REST API key. So we need to give this a name. So I'm just gonna call this uh, Mac API like that. And then I'm going to associate this with Mac2, which is funnels to income at gmail.com. So I had to create another account, which is not an admin. Okay, so I'm gonna click on create. 
So you can see now that I have an API password and I also have an API username. Now this is the information that's needed over here. So I'm now going to come over here and add my API username. And then I'm going to go back and copy my API password. I'm going to copy that, come back over here and paste. Right. So, so far we created a campaign. So we're going to come over here. I'm just going to refresh this. Okay. So here is our campaign. I'm going to select it. Email subjects. I'm just going to call this um, video. Okay. New video. How about that? So I'm just going to say new video posted. And then here it's asking for enter from name. So this is going to be Mac. And then the email is Mac at creativeastro.com. Okay. So here I can choose my list. So I already have a list. And in fact, I can just say all lists here, but I can choose my tag, which is subscriber. There we go. All right. So I think I'm good. I'm going to click now on continue. So now let's hit continue and test this and see if this is going to work. So I'm going to click on continue. All right. It looks like our action tested successfully, which is fantastic. So now that everything is now connected, I'm just going to say save. We are pretty much good to go. So whenever I post a video here, then the action here will send an email to Fluent CRM. Now, if there is more options or more things that I need to do here, I can always click on this plus button. And as you can see, I have way more options that I can add onto this. So you can see here, I've got Learn Dash, I've got MailerLite. There's just a lot more to, uh, to add. I even have Notion that I can play around with. So as you can see, this is really, really powerful. First of all, I started off with uh, telling short triggers that when I post a video, I need now to notify my users that there's a video tutorial out. That means I don't have to go manually into Fluent CRM and post a video every single time. Now, I've decided to use Fluent CRM because that's my go-to for my email marketing and automation. But in your case, you could be using something totally different and that's fine too because Short Triggers covers that. Now, the really cool thing about this as well is once you set up your, your automations, they're not, they're not necessarily running on your actual website, but they're running on an external website, uh, which is on Short Triggers servers, which means it's taking away all the heavy lifting from your website, making sure that it doesn't slow down your website. Because as you add more automations, you can imagine what happens to your website. It's going to definitely run slow. Anyway, guys, I have a link to Short Triggers in the video description below. Go ahead, check it out. Sign up for Short Triggers. By doing so, you're going to make your work process or your workflows much, much easier and you are going to save a lot of time. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.